Freddy, Loco, Basic, and Pingino may have auditioned to be asked to join Big Hit Entertainment, they may have never trained there. Instead, training alongside BTS were some other idols who may just surprise you. 1. Kiddo, former Top Dog member, Kiddo began his career as a trainee with a now famous company. Ad Choice is advertising in red invented by Teeds he was originally preparing to be a part of BTS but eventually left the group. Afterward, he would join Top Dog. Ad Choice is advertising in red invented by Teeds he would leave that group too, and strike out on his solo career. 2. Shinbi, G-Friend, it might be surprising to hear that Big Hit Entertainment once had female trainees but there were a few of them. In fact, Shinbi used to be one of those trainees. She was a trainee there since she was 12 and pretty much grew up with BTS. According to ASU, another trainee, she was known for her dance. When Big Hit Entertainment cut their female trainees, the girls moved to Source Music and made their debut with G-Friend. Sanghyun, former JBJ member. The former JBJ and Top Dog member was once a trainee with Big Hit Entertainment before moving agencies and making his debut with Top Dog. 4. I-11 Ven I-11 Ven was originally part of the DNH crew and made a name for himself as an underground rapper. Eventually, he became a trainee with Big Hit Entertainment but that didn't last for long before he left. 5. Yuna, G-Friend, Shinbi and Yuna actually knew each other before debuting together since they were both trainees under Big Hit Entertainment. Yuna was said to have joined the company after Shinbi and wanted to focus on her dance. Eventually, they went to Source Music and the rest is history. 6. In Seong, KNK, before making his debut with KNK, In Seong was once a trainee at Big Hit Entertainment as well as FNC Entertainment. In an interview shortly after KNK made their debut, In Seong had nothing but kind words for his trainee mates. The hardest time for me before I debuted is when I left the agency where we trained. I was a trainee at Big Hit at first and the other trainees there weren't competitive and everyone really got along together. Everyone was gentle and kind. We received tickets to a BTS concert recently and we went together with all of our members. I was really happy and proud to see my friends, who I trained with since the beginning, being so successful, in Seong 7. Sungjoon, KNK, in Seong isn't the only KNK member to train at Big Hit Entertainment. Sungjoon also trained with BTS, but BTS isn't the only famous group he trained with. He was also a trainee under JYP Entertainment for a time and trained with GOT7. In the same interview that In Seong talked about BTS, Sungjoon had his own words to say. I think watching my friends, who debuted first, becoming successful is a good stimulus for me. I am sincerely happy that they are doing so well. I first met them when I was 19 and we got along really well back then. I even bought three BTS albums with my own money. I am jealous though. If I said I wasn't I would be lying. But want to sincerely congratulate them, Sungjoon 8. Su Wung, Boys Republic, Su Wung was once a trainee from the company and even trained with BTS. On the unit he had performed BTS's fire and explained his history with a group. I trained at Big Hit and I was lucky enough to get into the debut team. I recorded, for an album, and even posed for the album cover photoshoot but then the team was dismantled, he trained with them for about a year then left and made his debut with Boys Republic. 9. So Yin, 9 MUSES, the 9 MUSES member was also one of the few girl trainees of Big Hit Entertainment. When the company no longer accepted female trainees she moved companies and made her debut with 9 MUSES. 10. Law ONF When Law first made his debut he gathered a lot of attention thanks to the rumors that he was a former trainee with BTS. And according to one interview with him, those rumors are true. Before joining WM Entertainment, Law was preparing for a debut with BTS. I used to practice together with BTS Sun Bayonems. I was 14 years old at that time. The age gap was so big and there were various reasons that made us unable to debut together. However, seeing them as a huge singers made me dream even more. After that, I met ONF Hangs and I have made a lot of memories with them, Law 11. On High and see, Produce 101, Produce 101 gave us a big shock when one of the trainees revealed they had a previous history with Big Hit Entertainment. On High and see, revealed that he was a trainee there before moving to Yerwar Entertainment. 12. 
Iron Iron was rumored to be a part of the original lineup of BTS and was supposed to be in a duo with Room but things just didn't work out. Eventually, he left to do his own thing. 13 Supreme Boy ARMYs probably already know about Supreme Boy since he was one of the founding members of BTS. Although he left the group before it debuted, he's often thought of as the eighth member and still works with Big Hit Entertainment as a producer, and he helped them produce Cyper PT. 3. Killer. Fans excited for the spoiler BTOB's Hyun Sik has been hinting at for the past year.